last year with a uh, Prism deck profile. I don't want to um, so that's pretty elaborate with the new Burt. Uh, first, let's start off with the triggers. So, I run four heals, common. Uh, next, I run four draw triggers. And I know, right? Yeah, it's not in the zone card. Um, specifically, you want the new player trigger, which is a nice addition. For the, it certainly helps you search out a bird, Rosa, or grade one version of clear. So, sorry, so you run four. Um, I'll get into later the things I like to do with it. For grade one, I run. Four perfect cards. Um, simply the prism one, because in this deck you have to balance prism with bird skill, and it's nice to have, especially since you have a special counterblast for some of these cards. Um, four late, which is the counterblast, which is the soul charge one and counter charge one, and it gets a unit plus 4k, so that's pretty good. Uh, next I run three Shantae's for strike fodders. Um, with the, for the new bird this deck, you want to try and keep as much great as you can. I would set up or just to like prepare for the first play. Next I can take in two clear great ones. Uh, great. Uh, so last one plus 4k one pick up. And it's searchable for the best player. So if you ever need like a, another booster. Or Celtic. So she's special cat last on hit draw card. Pick up and draw. Um, it's pretty good. For, it doesn't really hurt you or not. Because you count if they go for guard, then they overguard. If they hit, and you basically get to draw one. It's nice. Next I run three of the 12k attackers. Um, I choose to run her over uh, Rosa because I understand Rosa gets big numbers, but she's re Rosa only is good on her turns. She's not really good on Olivia or Labrador. She's basically just vanilla. And, and 12k, a 12k attacker just makes numbers and it just gives you 11. So I wasn't everything plus 12k. Um, next I'm running three Spicos for the just to play a bit more aggressively. And the next I run two Amelia's. So Amelia does his count last one, pick up, and then draw a card. Um, the thing about her is she basically keeps you from mindsing on your bird plays, and also with this is pretty nice. I run four of the birds, break ride, draw a card, pick up two, and this is any two. Yes. I run three Labradors and one Garnet. Uh, most people prefer Garnet just because she's like the limit break five and also the defensive plays you get when you use like hand in hand. But, I, but most of the time Garnet is like doesn't add much, and generally in the second one, try and finish your opponent. Uh, uh, also, the Labrador is probably the best option to do it. Even if you don't run the Little Rig Enabler, people will never, people will still guard high for 31k. Like, my best strategy is to take the shit out of people. Yeah, I was like, I realize that you're a For starter, I run first lesson Akiri. Um, what her skill is when she's in harmony, send your soul, pick up something, draw a card. She's really good and for utility wise, especially with like Amelia or Claire, because essentially you just pick up Claire, immediate search, or pick up Amelia, immediate draw. It um, certainly has more versatility than like Coral or Sapphire, since you get rid of her easily. 
and don't have to rely on other stuff just to flip. Just to fix it. Um, for strides. For riding two labradors. Just for like a first stride if you didn't G-guard to get Olivia off. <laughs> Next we run four. If you feel some tugs, don't just turn around. Olivia, uh, count blast one, hey, uh, up to five really different ones, and if they're all different, then you can put two down. Uh, good for pressure and aggression, especially since your opponent's probably going to waste their perfect just to guard it all the time, so even if they do that, you, you always be prepared because then you have more birds. Bird is flip persona flip, discard three, then you get to choose two prisms to pick up, then you ride, re-ride the prisms. So, four of her. Um, the reason I run four is because just in case I'm able to set up for the second play, or if I fail the first time because it's limit break enabled. Yeah. Then I run one with the breeze. Yeah. So just for the stall game. Since I don't run the no, limit break enablers, no, this time, really no, helps no, out. Later, just to set up your TV yeah. stuff. You say, play Plus, you don't really minus yourself right. if you so, just use a uh, like curious like skill to pick up late on stride. They'll say, well, I can do as many so, 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 like, strides to breeze, to pick up late, then you just you save yourself a count. Uh, for G Guard, is I run two hand in hand. So, her skill is pick up something and then put something down. If it's the kind of same card you pick up, then you basically get plus five to shield. Um, she's basically just there for combos with, like, late, clear, just to give yourself, just to give your <laughs> or a 4K for defense, which is pretty good. Um, unfortunately, but her skill is like conditional, so if you pick up, you have to put down, which is like one downside. So that's why I run one dismal, just in case I want something not to be attacked, but I don't want to waste uh, hand. Do it. So I'm Natasha, just for like, uh, just for there, because I need to make something number. It's pretty good. And screw, just in case I, I have a control matchup. I don't have anything to pick up or show. I get my 6K. Uh, that was my present deck file. Thanks for watching. And, uh, <laughs>